This morning in the Eagle studio, we got the general manager for Winkler Co-op with us, Evan Taves. Evan, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. We're excited to have you here at uh, on a big day for uh, for Co-op, as uh, this is the day where you guys are revealing the new name. That's right. Yeah, we're super excited about it. And so it is a revealing of this new name, but it certainly isn't official yet. It's first got to be given that stamp of approval. That's right. Yeah, it's been a, a process getting this far, but ultimately we do need the approval of the members. And so talk about, you know, this process, when it started and to where we are now. It started quite a number of months ago, actually, where we put out to the public uh, for suggestions for names uh, for Winkler Co-op to change to. Uh, we had over 500 submissions and through uh, whittling that down through our management and our staff, as well as our board of directors, um, ultimately, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we came down to Gardenland Co-op. And so Gardenland Co-op, uh, what what boxes did this one check perfectly? Like, you know what, this should be the one. Yeah, it has a lot of uh, meaning with the, uh, with the rich history in this area and the rich gardens that this area produces. And also it, uh, it's tied to, uh, to a, a former brand of products that was, uh, that was created right here in Winkler um, with the co-op creamery called Gardenland. And so while it's no longer going to be called Winkler Co-op, it still has those ties to Winkler. That's right. It has the ties to Winkler and to the whole area. It was a cooperative that uh, that took milk from all over uh, southern Manitoba, and it's just going to tie all of our communities together as well. Absolutely. All the other co-ops, there's going to be Gardenland Co-op now. They'll have a name that works for all of them. Yeah, so anything that is Winkler Co-op is going to uh, change, uh, provided that it goes through on April the 10th to Gardenland Co-op and all the communities we serve. Of course, the uh, the excellent service and then everything else stays the same. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it stays the same. No change there. And so this meeting, uh, this is uh, you guys are having this vote at your annual general uh, general meeting. When and where is this and who can come and be, and be a part of it? That's right, Ronnie. And so any, uh, any members are welcome to come and cast their vote. April the 10th at Buller Active Living Centre. Uh, it's part of our annual general meeting, and there will be a motion there for a name change. So come on out and uh, cast your vote. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. Perfect. Evan, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Hey, I'm Ronnie Gunther. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have something going on in the community and you want to share it on the morning show, we'd love to have you. Send us an email at news at PeminaValleyOnline.com. If you like the video, give it a like and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.